Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Copper's Chocolate. These are all natural. I have the Sea Salt Caramel, the Chocolate Almond Trio. And an express, it's bleh, Chocolate Espresso Mix and Dark Chocolate Espresso Mix. Um, I found these at the uh, Tuesday morning. They were 99 cents each, which I don't think is bad That's at all. It's a snack bag. Yeah, it's a little snack bag. Uh, Copper's Chocolate, I have not heard of them before. Mm -hmm. They are made in uh, New, New York, York, New York. Yeah, and it's www.copperschocolate.com. With a K. So, yeah. So, one, uh, we're gonna try the Sea Salt Caramel Gourmet Salted Caramels Drenched in Pure and Dark Chocolate. So, I didn't realize that. There, There's two flavors. There should be two flavors. I'm just gonna pour them out so you can see. Oh yeah, yes. pour, pour milk, pour dark. Do you wanna half it? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, go ahead. So, the, uh, the package, this is the milk. The pa one package, 56 grams, mm -hmm. is 260 calories. The caramel's really good and soft. The chocolate's decent. Get and, some salt. And you get sea salt. Yeah, you can feel the little crunchies on your teeth. That's it's delicious. Good. It's a very nice texture. Dark chocolate was thick. It's um it's creamy, mm -hmm. but it's chewy at the same time. Yeah, it's good at texture. I love the sea salt. That is it. And the even the dark's not bad. Mm -hmm. It is a bit more bitter, but and it kills the flavor of the caramel a little bit, but it is it's still good. That's delicious. Those are very good. I wish they just had my milk chocolate. Though. That's amazing, the sea salt. Because so many things say sea salt mm -hmm. and they don't have it. And these actually do. Yeah, they're very, very good. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Okay. Like I said, I wish the bag was all milk, but the new Definitely milk worth 99 cents. Oh yeah. Absolutely worth that. Or even just a little special treat. Yes. I'm wondering when these, um, it's hard to tell when they expire. Because um, if they were good until like after Christmas, I would say buy these for stocking stuffers. This yeah. is the type of thing that I look for little packages like this when I'm looking for cool stocking stuffers, stuff you can't find everywhere. So those sea yeah, salt caramel, like those are a winner. A big code on them. It's I know. Like it, I know. I hate it when they do that, the codes, because I don't get the codes. Okay. So these are the uh, chocolate almond trio. It is premium dry roasted whole almonds in pure milk, white, and dark chocolate. You're doing three of these. Yes. And you can so. Buy these in half. I want you to be able to see. Okay. You go can ahead. Buy them. You can oh. buy them. I'll bet the last ones in half. You buy these in half. Need the white. 56 grams, 290 calories. For the container? Yes. The I still don't think that's bad though. Mm, enough for almonds and chocolate. That was good. Uh, real, the almond color really came through. It did, but so did that white chocolate. Yeah. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. A Those very nice, sweet white chocolate. Just need a one. Oh, well then let me get it. There's a, a small one. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so nice, the quality, yeah. The chocolate's good. Um, it's hard to believe that it's it's this good a quality and we haven't heard of them before. I know. Um, there. Yeah. Mm. yeah, those are absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Even their dark chocolate's not too awfully bad. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit bitter. It is. But Oh, it should be. It's dark chocolate. But it's not. It's not as bitter as what we've had. No, I it's not think, even as bitter as uh, Hershey's. I do one. think that came across as more bitter than the sea salt caramel, and maybe that's because it was with the caramel. Could be. And the caramel was sweet, so it didn't come across as dark. Whereas this came across darker. Because it's it just to right. Take away from it. Um, but I still like that a lot. This is the uh, chocolate espresso mix. Roasted coffee beans covered in a variety of premium chocolates. Hmm. 
So uh, I let's see white ones and cream colored ones. Let's see ones. what the variety is. Okay. I see white cream, dark, and just regular milk chocolate. This is 50 grams, is 240 calories. So you're gonna get a white one. Okay. It is a variety. Mm. I could have up the idea of just roasting coffee beans and eating them. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't remember that being a thing. When we were ago. kids. No. I don't either. I don't either. It's like. I never heard of that when we were kids. Mm -hmm. So what what year did they start doing that? Or did they do it in other countries forever? Yeah. In Italy or somewhere. And it just hadn't made it over here. Because there's things right now in the United Kingdom, Pake Walt Tart, that haven't made it here. You know, and it's mm -hmm. people are like, or Banoffee is just now making it over here. I know. Banana sure and don't... toffee. It's like, but the name Banoffee. They don't use that in America, so it's like, okay, how long have these beans been around? Or they might have been in more posh shops than we went to. Now, there's some darker and some lighter. Do you want to try one of the light ones and I'll try one of the dark okay. ones? Okay. I think they're the same thing. It's the coffee bean, but... It tastes exactly the same as the dark one. Honestly, yes. <laughs> Why don't you do a, a light a milk and I'll do a dark? Because the coffee bean is so strong. Yes, the coffee bean is so strong that it doesn't matter what chocolate they put with it, it <laughs> tastes the same, doesn't it? It pretty much does. Mm -hmm. Actually, that milk chocolate was a little bit sweeter. And the dark chocolate was a little more bitter. So you it did, really was. I can imagine because the coffee beans themselves are yes, kind of bitter. Yes, but the, the dark chocolate added, added even more. Bit. Yes. I think my favorite was that white one. With the spots in it? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Yeah, I like that a lot. Although the milk was really good because it, it did add a sweetness to it. Right. Okay, you ready for the last one? Yeah. That, so that good. is good. If you like that kind of thing. It's not something that I would want all the time because unless I'm in the mood for coffee because you literally feel like um, you're eating your coffee. <laughs> but it is delicious. Um, now these are dark chocolate covered espresso beans. So it's so basically more of I a, think that's what I thought, but since they were in a separate package, I went ahead and bought them anyway, but I'm thinking it's going to be the exact same thing we just had, but I'm going to make sure for you all, so you'll know if you need to buy these by themselves or not. This is 230 calories for 50 grams. I didn't try a dark one. So. Oh, that's true. I just tried the dark one. Okay. They sure look the same. They do. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. Is it the same? Mm -hmm. exactly. I tell you what, though, if you like that black coffee kind of flavor, mm -hmm. that's the ones you want to get. Yes. Because the other ones have a, a they do have a coffee flavor, but they're more on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Whereas the dark chocolate ones adds that bitterness of a black coffee. Right. Those are good. The caramels are my favorite. The the quality of the chocolate is so nice. It's good. It makes me wonder if they uh, what other like do they sell a selection box like Russell Stover? Mm -hmm. um, and we just haven't heard of them before. Uh, or are they like C's where they just sell all kinds of different stuff? Yeah. It, well, C yeah C sells everything, yeah. but C's um, not everyone has necessarily heard of them, and they're wonderful. So it makes me um, wonder if, if Coppers is more um, well known in the Northeast. Could be. Because they're in New York. But uh, I'll have to look on their website and see what else they offer. I think this is excellent quality chocolate. I do too. And I would definitely, my favorite out of the four is the still the sea salt caramel. Oh, the first thing we tried, absolutely worth 99 cents. Yeah. Although the almonds are really, really good too, mm -hmm. if you like almonds, and the coffee beans, if you like coffee beans, which I know Andrew and Christina love yes, chocolate they do. coffee beans, they do. Um, they would love those. Yes, they would. That's why I was thinking uh, if they were, uh, were good, that you could get them for stocking stuffers, yep. and they absolutely they are, are delicious. Definitely worth, definitely worth a dollar. Yes, absolutely. So I'm gonna have a picture for you all at the end, and thanks for watching.